that love box that we are running mm-hmm. called residency. It is very clear to me that in the future, most of the markets will be driven by AI algorithms. In fact, like uh, the catchphrase that I use is that AI is the next Warren Buffett, right? I'll be trying to solve for pronunciation, mispronunciation detection of Indonesian speakers. So I have asked it, what is the value of one plus one? After 21 seconds and about 500 tokens later, it was able to answer the question. Indians produce a lot of high quality research, uh, but how much of it happens within the political boundaries of India is what I basically decided to focus on. Uh, the protocol and document is uh, complex high dimensional data. When I say high dimensional, the, there are various dimensions. Agentic system focused on credit assessment and um, Checking for defaults uh, in the uh, in the credit risk scenario. So I decided to create like a very small micro benchmark. So uh, two problem domains with two theories in each of them. But I define like levels of scientific thinking, which I can I wanted to, wanted to test this agent against, right? So there's two reasons uh, product search in particular today is not great. There's a boring reason and a technical reason. What it will essentially unlock is better latency, lower costs, all of that uh, will be unlocked if you're able to like get the same performance for a specific task with a smaller model. Instead of just throwing a 4.0 or a 3.7 or Cloud 4 at everything. I read this book by a guy called Frank Ryan. He basically said that Darwin had a big blind spot in his theory and that competition is not the only form of evolution. Collaboration and cooperation played a very big role in it. This was the first time in 2024 when an AI first solution like AlphaFold models and you know like RM diffusion actually got the Nobel Prize in chemistry. So this is like the golden era that we are actually in.